Previously on The Truth. In my back twinge at any point, which it didn't. So I, you can see I'm holding the camera. And I'm just like flipping out, dude. I'm not chill Good morning everybody, it is Monday the 15th of June and I feel good, it is three weeks out from English Grand Prix, we're just under if you want to be pedantic, um, three weeks out yesterday so I'm, I'm really happy with where I am right now, what my condition's like right now and um, yeah these last few weeks are going to be tough grinders but if it don't kill you, it's going to make you stronger. So um, I am literally just got back from, not literally because I've had time to cook breakfast, but I got back from doing cardio. Um, it was just steady state today. And then I've got chest later on. And I've just cooked up my breakfast, which is oh, so tasty. Um, eggs, smoked salmon slices. Um, feta cheese and then the uh, almond bread if you haven't seen the almond bread recipe I'm going to put the link in the description but damn it's one hell of a breakfast with a little bit of chili sauce goes down a treat so I'm going to show you what I'm dealing with yeah a little bit of chili sauce all mixed up in there it's the feta and salmon and then the almond bread yeah very very tasty very tasty if you want to see a full day of eating do what you do and leave your comments in the comment section just let me know I'll get it done but um, got a couple things to sort out today currently uploading my last vlog so that's processing now so by the time you see this it will already be up so if you haven't seen it check it out but I am going to eat this and then we've got I've got chest later on I think I'm gonna go quite heavy today back soreness is back tightness is gone pretty much um, still gonna warm up a lot still gonna foam roll a lot but then I'm going to smash it heavy. So I'm going to take you guys to see the workout. So I will see you in a little bit. Probably before I hit the gym. But I'll see you in a bit. Peace. So breakfast done and dusted. Tasty as hell. Now just in response to a couple of questions on the last video I did. Um, asking about the Grand Prix, where it is, where to get tickets, all that kind of stuff. The Grand Prix is being held in High Wycombe. Um, and for tickets, I'm going to put a link in the description below. So if you do want to come and watch, and a few of you have said that um, it's your first, it would be the first show that you come to see, it'll be a good show. It'll be a very good show. There's some good competitors um, that I know of. Um, so yeah, it'll be good. I'll put the link in the description box. So if you do want to get tickets, I think they're like £25. But um, yeah, it would be, it'd be good to see you guys support if you're in the area. So, that aside, <clears throat> finally, 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 like literally for the past, since we moved here, we haven't had broadband. So every video that you've seen that has been up, has been uploaded using my phone as a modem. And it takes ages, like literally ages depending on the length of the video sometimes it, it can take up to like eight hours so that's why there's like a really sporadic time of when it's uploaded and it's doing my head in but finally 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 they are coming today to install the broadband i don't know why it takes so long to install broadband but they have to send out engineers and all that kind of stuff so that should be sorted today so i'm really happy about that so it will make editing and uploading a lot easier and will help with building the consistency and all that kind of stuff with video uploads 
<sighs> that was a mouthful. But um, yeah, so they should be coming um, soon, so I have to wait in for that. Um, I'm literally just gonna update by online clients. I did quite a few of them on the weekend because a few are competing very soon. So as it gets closer and closer to competition, more and more contact, more and more contact, more and more updates and updates before Mondays. So I'm gonna finish off the rest of them and then I think after that it will pr probably be time to go to the gym because it's about 8.30 now. So about an hour and then head to the gym for around 10. So I will see you at the gym later. What's up guys? So the first exercise that you see right here is pause rep um, bench press. So I'm kind of stopping it literally about 10, 10 millimeters above my chest. I was a bit annoyed with this one because my bum kept coming off the bench a little bit um, as I got heavier and heavier. Um, did manage to do um, three plates a side, so 140 kilos. Although the fourth rep looked more was more of a bicep curl for my spotter, so uh, so stuff to improve on, stuff to improve on, but still quite happy with it. And then I went on to this kind of like drop set, so started with two plates a side and then do as many reps, then drop it to one plate aside, then put, then do as many reps, then put it back to two plates aside, do as many reps, and you keep going back and forth until you literally can't do any more reps. It is such a burner, it's ridiculous, but the pump, I mean, look here, the pump is serious. Try it out and let me know. I made it up, but it seemed to work. <clears throat> All right, then uh, went on to kind of a, a neutral grip incline bench so I'm going to explain more about this when I do my um, kind of like chest development series all these exercises are going to be explained and the reasons why I'm doing them um, but the neutral grip kind of hits the upper chest a bit more but yeah, still feeling quite strong I mean managed to get the 50 kg dumbbells up um, which I think when I was prepping for the Arnold's, I got the 42s or the 45s. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. My strength's still going up even though I'm two weeks out. I've been on ketone before that. I've been on low carbs. So I've actually, I've had no carbs for ages. So, you know, this diet style still shocks me to this day. Still shocks me to this day. But it's good. It's good. Really enjoying it. And then this um, final exercise, what's this guy doing behind me? How are you gonna do pull-ups when I'm trying to do cable crossovers? Anyway, start with low, so um, low crossovers, then shift it straight to middle for 10 reps, and then shift it straight to lower to, low to high for 10 reps, and that was for three sets. going on everybody all right today I came in this morning did my cardio and um, guy that I know from fitness first before um, up in Streatham um, who's now working here a guy called Adam he did a lot of work on my on my back like massaging and stuff which released it really well but I'm gonna stay away for today it's meant to be back I'm going to stay away from back and I'm going to do um, close my code. I'm going to do rear delts and the lateral head on my delts. I'm going to stay away from front delts and any pushing um, as we know that that's the trigger. But look at now you're looking all sexy behind. Alright, well, it's um, state of the art technology. Flipping type in your car as well for parking. Um, yeah, I'm just probably gonna post up a couple highlights, not really the whole workout today. Um, just a few exercises and stuff. So, see you in a sec. Um, Four minutes. The other day when I cut my hair, it was funny. Um, <laughs> walked past the mirror in the bathroom. Uh, turn, I was at 
just stared in the mirror. I was like, who the hell is that? Beard looking all clean. And because I had the beard and it was all bushy and stuff, it was hiding the fact that my face had got slim from dieting. And I was like, shit, my face got trim. Um, yeah, just thought I'd share that. It's quite funny. Anywho. Alright, so doing my usual five minutes on the cross trainer. We've got these two hard workers who are going to be part of the subscriber training series um, which I'm going to continue after I do my show. Right now everything's just a bit manic, the two days are kind of killing me and I want to you know, I want to do some good sessions with subscribers. So. We've got Jesse, his boy. They be killing it. Doing their hit cardio. Yeah, they'll be next on the subscriber training series. Yeah, feeling good. The pre-workouts hit me hard. All itchy face and everything. It's a bit <laughs> crazy, but but nice is behind me, warming up too. She likes that one with the handles. I don't, I don't really like that one. Just uh, too much, too much movement. I just, I just want my feet to move. But, um, yeah, a couple more minutes on this. And I'll throw a few highlights, not the whole session, just a few highlights of the workout. All right, so a second ago, I mentioned that my boy Adam that released my back for me. We're here, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Hope you're feeling better, man. Hope you're feeling better. Yeah. Yeah, 10 times better. Definitely not here, man. Still not going well. I'm only going to do shoulders, like, Lateral and rear dots. I'm not yeah. going to do any back work. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Appreciate that. It's all up, man. It's all up. Every time you need me, let me know. Cool, bro. Now, I was debating doing commentary on this one, but this is just um, an exercise for um, rear delts that I was just kind of testing out. I'm going to do it for the next two, three weeks, see how my rear delts develop, and I will let you guys know. But um, yeah, Naisha and I trained delts together I stayed away from front delts because I you know the seated um, raise is what causes the problems so we just stuck with lateral head and rear delts but rear delts are popping and then I took some anger out on this bag because they for some reason the bag had fallen down there was no punch bag up so I had to improvise so I just did these punch bag slams um, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, 10 rounds, and then I did what we'll show next is kind of like a fireman's carry with the bag, but running around in around in circles basically. And then I did another one which I didn't film, which was slam and then elbows driving into the bag, kind of MMA style, and then another round of the fireman's carry. And that was my workout, that's my cardio. Enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, so back from the gym. I think Jeremy Kyle's on TV. Such a crap program, but so engaging. It's like you, you have to you have to see what's going on and see the nonsense that goes on. But right now just having my post-workout meal and just checking um, I always watch over my videos just to make sure there's no mistakes but um, that one's getting ready to be uploaded so um, I think I've just got to do a voiceover on one bit and that's it and that will go up but on to my post-workout meal now as most of you know I don't I don't normally eat pork, I don't eat bacon, I always go for turkey bacon, but for some strange, strange reason, and I'm going to blame pregnancy kind of like cravings, I don't know whether, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll roll with that. See, like when Naisha craves something, I crave it, and bacon something that I've been craving so I decided to eat it there was no like religious reasons behind it I just didn't really like pork 
Anyway, this is what I'm eating. I've got cooked chicken breast with some, I think this is mature cheddar cheese, three rashes of bacon and Christian Guzman, I keep watching his channel and then I started craving this. He has um, pico de gallo with his eggs every morning. And then I was looking and I was like, man, that looks tasty. And then I was craving it. And then funnily enough, when Naisha and I finished the gym, she was craving it too. So yeah, great minds, great minds. So, I'm gonna eat this, but yeah, just before I eat this, that was a great session. I'm, I'm really, really pleased with that. It was a good shoulder session. I stayed away from any pressing movements. So there's a lot of like lateral raises, a lot of rear delt work. And then the circuit at the end was a killer, but uh, 20 minutes after it, I felt really good. So yeah, happy, I'm happy. Good energy levels, ready to dial it in, in the next two weeks, but like I said in the previous, well, the other day, which is the previous clip to you guys, if you guys want to see a full day of eating, um, keto style, let me know in the comment section and I'll get it done. Oh yeah, and also got sort of diet ginger beer. See, everyone's going for these monsters and rock star and all that kind of stuff. One, I like to be different. And two, so there's too much caffeine. I already have um, fat burners in the morning, and then I have my pre-workout. That's a lot of caffeine, so then if I top that off with monsters, that's a huge amount of caffeine every day. But this is literally, this is literally zero calorie. Per 100 mil, it's like 0 0.4 calories, and everything is less than 0 0.1 grams, so. Yeah, diet ginger beer. That's the truth. But for now, I am going to finish editing this video, sort out a few other things, and get back to work on this project because it needs to launch very soon. But I'll keep you updated on that, so stay tuned. You, you, you can you can Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I, I, I never front it, I got my whole cool life.